Hey guys, Aramis555 here. Uh, it's coming to the deck profile. Um, this is a deck I love. Uh, and I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. Let's move things over here. Um, basically, uh, I've been kind of shelving this deck for a long time um, just for the fact that uh, it's good, but it wasn't great. Um, and I think with this new card that we're getting, it, it is much better. I still don't think it's going to be like there's a lot of people be like, oh, evils are going to be tier one. Yeah, it's evils. Um, but they're not. Uh, with the release of Evo Singularity, the deck is just actually a lot more consistent. Uh, it has a special summon card that's a lot faster now. And uh, we can make Solda now without having to run bad cards. Uh, so anyways, I'm just going to get right down to the deck profile, and I'll just kind of talk about excuse me, things as I go. Um, so starting things off. Triple Serato. I see a lot of people running two of this. Uh, you have to run three. Um, I mean, you can get away with two. I think that's fine. But uh, three is just really the best way to go because it's not just like his effect is actually relevant. And there's a lot of cool things that a lot of people don't know. Um, if he leaves the field while his effect is activated, say if he crashes into a 2100 monster um, and he leaves the field, he will still get you a search. Uh, that by itself is really, really good. Um, 2100 is not a super popular number, but if a lot of you do remember... Um, most of the artifact monsters are 2100, so I mean, just being able to plus off that is actually really, really nice, uh, especially because um, stupid artifacts can plus pretty quickly. Uh, this deck overall has a really good matchup against a lot of the meta decks. Uh, Dolka poops on dragons, it poops on artifacts, etc., etc., etc. So it's just it's just a really, really good deck. Um, but I also like Sorrow just for the fact, like, this deck can, it, it's one weakness other than the fact that, um, you know, it relies a lot on specialing from the deck, is that the um, monsters themselves actually uh, don't do anything if you draw them. Um, the evil swords, I should say. So having three, this guy's really good just for the fact that you can like normal summon his nineteen hundred beater, and generally nineteen hundred is a really good number. Um, I just I think three is just the best way to go. Um, so next up is the other guy you only run three of for the evil swords. Um, that's three volcano. Okay, I see a lot of people running two of this, uh, and I know if Jordan High watches this, he's probably gonna comment or something, but. Um, you have to run three of this. I've tested this deck for so long. I played two for the longest time because, like, everybody's like, you have to run two because you don't want to draw it. Yes, you don't want to draw it, but you also want as many of these in the deck as possible when you make for your big push. Because going for an evil force play, well, you have two evil soldiers in the graveyard, especially something two of these guys. The second one does not miss timing. You can look it up. Um, I get people arguing arguing with me about that all the time on dueling network and stuff. Um, but basically what this guy does, he's just an instant Logia or Dolka or just a rank 4 XYZ. And there's so many cool combos you can do with this guy. And I think you just have to run three. Like, if you're only running seven Evil Swords, um, the deck runs out of steam really fast. And once you lose all your Evil Swords, you basically lost. So basically having an uh, uh, instant um, rank 4 XYZ is just very, very crucial. Uh, and then I just run two Diplo. Um, I see a lot of people run three this guy and then two Serratos. I think that's fine. I mean, you could probably get away with that. But if anything, I'd probably, if you want, side the third of this and, like, switch it out if you're playing a really heavy back row deck. Um, this card's really good, but uh, the problem I have with it is that artifacts are a card, and you don't always want to just, like, blind pop. It's much better when your opponent doesn't know what you're playing game one and he attacks in a west low and you can specialist during the damage step and uh, pop a back run that can't chain to it, so it's really good. Um, but just two is like the best number. Ideally, the best ones are um, Volcano, the best one's Volcano in my opinion, but uh, Serato's just like, you run three because if you draw him, he's okay. Like, he's basically a Sabersaurus, so. Uh, so only eight Evil Swords. You don't run more than that. I've seen so many builds on, uh, on here and just other people playing it where they're running like 10 plus Evil Swords, and like, you're just gonna lose if you play that. Um, Cards I'll say other evil swords that are okay. Uh, Darwino isn't bad, but if you draw him, he sucks. Uh, Elias isn't terrible, but now that we have Evo Singularity, you don't need to run it anymore because you can make Solda off of one card. So what's the point? Uh, so one of the evil tiles, just uh, three Westlow. That's a staple. I'm not going to say anything about that. He's basically the Gravekeeper spy. He special summons uh, any evil sword monster from the deck. Really, really good, and there's some cool combos you can do to abuse him. Um, just two Najasho. Uh, now, a lot of people run three. I think three, this guy, was better when we didn't have Evo Diversity, when we didn't have a row to search this, and we wanted to consistently get this to our hand. Um, there's so many ways to search this guy now, like, uh, or add it back to our hand. Uh, like, we have um, Lion Emperor. 
Uh, and then you have Emerald, which you can send stuff back. You can play Dichotomy if you wanted to. Like, there's just so many things you can do. And, excuse me, generally, if you uh, get off an Evil Force to Joshua play, you're making, like, such a huge push that you're generally going to put yourself in a winning position anyways. Like, that's ideally the big combo you want to make with the deck. So, two's fine, and three just clogs. Like, you don't want to open double the Joshua. It's just bad. Um, and it's funny how many duels I've been watching online at Evils as well, to seeing what people are running. And they're still playing the deck in an older fashion, which is bad. Like, you need to kind of adapt to the format. So, uh, and how the game changes. And, like, we've had diversity now for, like, over a year, so I don't know why you'd still run triple in the Joshua. You just don't need it. And uh, one Thunder King Ryo is my last monster. He's just too good in a stun deck. Um, and if you can normal summon him while you get, like, a Loggy and Dolko on board, it's game. Like, your opponent can't do anything. Uh, you do search with uh, quite a few cards in here. Like, you have five search cards if you're not counting Serato. But, uh... I mean, generally, you're just going to send the Thunder King, and then when he finally dies, then you can do your searching and plays wherever you need. Um, a couple cards I'll mention, honorable mentions. I don't run Casanario, but I think he's actually a decent evil tile. Uh, if you want to try and run, like, a build with him. Um, he's kind of neat because, basically, he's only 1600, unfortunately, but he's kind of neat because if you attack, run over their monster, it doesn't have to go to the graveyard either, much like Serato, it just has to die. Um, so you can kill Token, then his effect activates, uh, you send him to the graveyard, and then you special summon two evil swords of the same name. So basically it's an instant rank four. Uh, if you're playing Darwino, you could get two Darwinos. Like, it's not very good, but I mean, you could do it. Um, and then your graveyard after that will essentially be ready for uh, you know, singularity play, which is really good. And I actually like Adonto as well. I'm not, I don't like Ryan. I played him in my last build. Um, but I think he's a good card if you want to, like, try him out. Because if you get, like, people don't like this deck for the fact that, like, if you draw your evil swords, you lose, which isn't true. Um, it's just it kind of gives an out for you to search if you do have like a volcano in hand you want to just like summon the Adonto special the volcano and his effect activates um, the only problem with that is of course he's susceptible to uh, you know Phoenix Chain and Baylor and all that stuff so he's kind of like he's not as good as Wesla is because Wesla you can chain to it um, so that's all the monsters guys 14 monsters perfect count you don't really want to run more than that because the deck has so much consistency anyways um, so three Evo Force are my only tribute cards. Uh, this is the best card in the deck. It's amazing. You tribute to, like, a Weslo that's been flipped. Um, you can tribute, obviously, to Joshua. That's, like, your big game winning push. Um, and, obviously, you can make, uh, you know, an instant um, Dolka Logia off of it as well, which is just nuts. Uh, now, Joshua Evo Force also sets up Singularity faster than Weslo does. But I've had so many times where, like, you have Weslo set, you flip it, they wait for you to special um, Diplo, you pop a back row, they chain Torrential, and then your Singularity's live as well. So, I mean, like, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I don't run Enemy Controller. Um, I think if you're going to run Enemy Controller, then you can probably get away with running more Najasho, uh, the third one. But I feel like with that, the Enemy Controller and Najasho play isn't that strong. And I feel like a lot of times it's wasting your Najasho as well. Because um, a lot of you got to remember is, is when you set Najasho, like, that's your normal summon set for the turn. So... If you just do, like, an enemy controller play, steal your monster, and they end up, like, getting it back or something, um, you know, you put yourself in a bad position. And generally, most of the XYZs you make aren't going to be bigger than whatever big monster they have on the board you're having a hard time getting over. Uh, so, I mean, enemy controller's not bad. Uh, it is nice as well because you switch stuff to the fence, and it makes it easier for, like, Dolka and Loggy to get over things. So I think in that sense, it's a good card. But um, the problem I have with it is that it's not that good of a card in here. Um... So, I, I mean, it's still good. If you want to run it, I'd say run, like, one. But the problem is it's taking up space for better cards that you could be running. Um, so, three Evo Diversity, Consistency, you got to run it. Those are basically your three other monsters. So, essentially, you're running 17 monsters in here. Um, I do run two Power Duality as well. Uh, three is too many, way too cloggy. You, you do special a lot after turn one, but this deck's very similar to Gear Gear, where it really doesn't start inter until turn uh, three or turn... Um, uh, four, unfortunately, if you do lose the die roll. Um, but as a stun deck, you know, you can set up, which is fine. Excuse me, two MSTs. Um, I side the third. Uh, I just don't like a lot of MSTs in here. Um, I tested it out, and, like, the deck didn't really have a big problem with back rows. Like, it's more monsters. Uh, so I think it's essential to run stuff that's going to help you get over monsters more than it is back rows. It's much like Samurai. Um, so in the third MST, I'm running one Lance. Um, if you could find room, I'd say cut something else for a second Lance out of this build if you want to net deck it. Uh, there are potentially things you could drop, like my trap lineup's pretty thick, but um, I think the one Lance is testing well. 
Um, and then one book of moon, so good you have to run this. If you like flip up Westlow and they veil or Phoenix chain, whatever, you just flip the book, switch them back down, he'll still special, and then you can like special dip low and pop a card, so it's really good. And I do run Dark Hole in here just for the fact the deck does have a hard time getting over big monsters, so if they somehow get over my board, um, I can just Dark Hole and then basically we're back to a restarted game state, which is nice. Now this is my proxy, Triple Evo Singularity, <laughs> I know, uh, yeah, Worm Trap that nobody plays anymore. Um, these will be Singularities by Saturday, so that'll be nice. But uh, basically, this card made this deck so much better. I don't think it's going to make it top tier by any means, but it's definitely going to make it competitive to the sense where you can bring it to a Locals and do really well with it. Um, this card's amazing because it's basically an instant. A Logia, Dolka, or Solda, and Solda is one of the best ones. Uh, Solda poops on Soul Drain. A lot of you being like, why are you not running Soul Drain? You don't need it. Um, you really don't. Like, Soul Drain is just, it's, it's, it's a really poorly designed card, and it puts you in a position where your life points are so low, and you might get, a, like, with this deck, you might get a solid board, but it takes a while to fill up your graveyard fast enough um, with Evil Source to actually make it good. I think if you're going to play Soul Drain, you'd have to play a dedicated build, um, like with Curry Bandit, unfortunately. That's pretty much how the format's going right now, is Curry Bandit Soul Drain, but... Um, you don't need it, and I think the card's going to get hit soon anyway, so you might as well just start testing with the stuff you're going to be playing anyways. Um, but yeah, this card is amazing. Singularity is just so good. If you, a lot of you don't know what it is, um, I will have a, con or a link down below. You can check it out. But basically, it's it's uh, you target one um, evil tile and one evil sword monster in your graveyard. You special one evil czar monster from your extra deck, and you equip those two monsters to them as materials. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it gets over bottomless and torrential. I haven't actually looked at the rulings for it yet, and I haven't really had anybody use anything against me uh, when I use Singularity, because I usually use it in like the end phase, um, because the last thing to happen is uh, attach the material. So I don't know if you can activate bottomless to it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't if you special like Dolk or Loggy or something, or even Solda. Um, Although, especially in Solda against Bottomless and Torrential is pretty good because they can't get destroyed. So yeah, card is absolutely amazing. It's so good, and I'll be playing this deck for a long time now that we have that card. Um, next up is 3 Phoenix Chain. Um, Phoenix Chain is still staple, I think, in the game. Uh, it's not as good now as Soul Charge running ramping, but I still think it's pretty important. You could essentially drop this down to 2 if you wanted to, and then run the second Lance. That's the one thing I was thinking about doing, but... Uh, I still only have one Lance, so... Uh, you could alternatively as well um, drop one for Black Horn of Heaven, which I think is very good in this deck as well, and I'd actually like to test those out a bit too. Um, two Mirror Force, just because this deck has a hard time against back row right now, or sorry, uh, Monsters, uh, always has. Um, and the two D Prisons, I actually think this card's better than Mirror Force right now, uh, significantly better. It gets over a lot of the problem cards that this deck has a harder time with, so... And then I run Compulse, Bottomless, and Warning. Uh, I do not run Torrential because this deck, much like Samurai, uh, relies a lot on field presence. And I really don't want to Torrential my own set Westlow. It's really not that good. I think it's okay if you already have like an Evil Soul in the graveyard and you have a Singularity set so you can like Torrential their big play and then just like activate Singularity and special something back. But it's not really the best thing to do. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's necessary, but I mean, if you think you can find room and you do like Torrential enough to play it, then go for it. Um, but the deck's consistent enough that you generally always open with a Westlow, because um, you have three single or three diversity and you have three Westlows, so I mean, the chance of getting to it is really high. So out of the extra deck, uh, we have three Logia. Um, he isn't the best one. Dolka is by far the best one, I think. Uh, like, Logia is just really good though because he's like a free negation if you summon him and they want to get rid of him they basically have to use two cards to kill it um, so a lot of times they'll special this guy and if they don't have warning or black horn uh, what they'll end up doing is like having a bottomless and then you negate and then they have to like chain phoenix chain to get over it or something like that and then a lot of times you make this guy off of one card because volcano so uh, it's really good um, and then two Dolkas. Generally, by the second Dolka, you've won. You can always just recycle them. Uh, I bring out Logia more than Dolka usually, but it really depends on the matchup. Like, if I'm playing Water, I'll bring out Dolka, like, every time. Um, Dolka or Solda, if I have the, the Singularity. Uh, same with Dragons. Like, Logia is better in decks that uh, play a lot of back row, but if you're playing, like, monster decks like Lightsworn and stuff, Dolka just wins every game. Like, it's just so good. Uh, now you can run the one Solda. I've always loved this guy. Basically, what he does, a lot of people don't know, is um, while well, he is an XYZ material, he's 2600, he's 1000 defense. Uh, while well, he is an XYZ material, he cannot be destroyed by card effects. And when your opponent would special summon, or does, sorry. Yeah, sorry, when it does special summon a monster, um, or monsters, there's an S in there. 
you can just detach all material and you destroy all the specials from the monsters. So this thing against Soul Drain is hilarious because they just die. Uh, Stardust can't negate them. Well, he can, but he won't be destroyed. Um, so really cool things like that. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, so one Black Ship of Corn, uh, one Diamond Dire Wolf. If I had 101, this would be 101, but I don't have it. Uh, one Zen Meister. Uh, one Roach. I actually like this guy in here. This is good. I don't have an Exiton either, but uh, I would never actually play Exiton in here. I've never had any games testing online um, or even in person where I've been like, oh, I wish I had Exiton. You just don't need it. Uh, Emerald, this card is clutch in here. You really need it. It sends back your Volcano so you can keep doing plays. Um, if you can keep this guy on the board, obviously, and you just do it a second time as well, it's really good. My Stroke and Dweller's Last Rank 4. I don't run Cowboy just for the fact that Cowboy is really not that good. I mean, he gets over anything that's, uh, what is it, because he's 15, so anything that's 20 or 3,000, is it? And then he can crash. Then that's right, he gains a, yeah, he can crash. But I mean, that's really not that good, so. Um, and then for the two rank threes, I run Zen Mains and um, Lion Emperor. This guy is really, really good. Uh, two level three fires, so you can just make two Westlows, um, and then you just detach, add Westlow back. And if the Lion King survives, you get a plus one next turn, so it's really good. Um, anyways, guys, that's the deck. Sorry if it was kind of long, but I haven't done a deck profile for it in so long. I figured you guys want to hear some explanations about why I'm running what. Um, I love this build, though. It's kind of what I've decided is the, you know, the way I'm going to be running it. Uh, like I said, if I make any changes, I'll probably drop Mirror Force down to one or Phoenix Chain down to two, and I'll squeeze in like a Black Horn and a Lance. Um, I do like Lance at two. I just only have one. Um, but other than that, deck's running great. Really like it. Uh, if you guys are looking for a nice, fairly budget deck, um, and you want to do really well with it, like a local or something, even a regionals, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, you know, give the deck a try and see how you like it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.